Well, look what just showed up in the mail. Uh, came from China, uh, free shipping. I just bought this uh, uh, JD0340. Now, I don't know whether that's really the right number for it. I think it's, if you uh, look for model YPC-001-5M, you'll find this five meter long endoscope camera. So anyway, I ordered it uh, three weeks ago and it just showed up. I, I paid $7.35 for it, free shipping. The same seller now has it for $9. And if you uh, uh, go on AliExpress and look around, you can find people sell it for as high as $56. Here's what we get in the package. You can see we got the, our cable, a CD, a user manual, and three attachments. Uh, we have a hook, a magnet, and a mirror. Look at what was inside the package. You can see it's on uh, a cloth. I guess this is maybe a cloth for using to clean the lens. We have a little mirror here. And uh, this will screw on the end. If, uh, if you take a look at the end here, you notice that there's some threads on the end. So stuff screws on. Appears to be a little collar. I don't know what that's for. And a bigger collar with a little indentation there. And somehow I think that indentation fits on the ends here. You kind of see there's a little ripple there. I don't know. We'll figure that one out. And then you can see that's a, a magnet right here because it picks this thing up. And you can see there's the hook. So let's see if we can figure this out a little better. Here I have the mirror screwed on, but this thing can, can unscrew. It's kind of threaded end. I notice this little collar, as I think just for decoration, it screws on there just to make it look uh, nice and flat. And then let me show you how the hook and the magnet hook on here. The magnet on there, and basically you can see how this is bent with a little catch. The catch goes on the back, and this collar right there holds that on. And we can kind of see the magnet here. And it actually picks up a pretty good sized piece of the uh, steel there. Well, according to the directions, we simply insert the CD and install some software. The AliExpress site of the seller I picked this up for, as I mentioned before, they, they've raised the price and, and it appears to uh, be no longer available. So good luck on this one. Windows 7, I plugged in the, the device. Uh, the devi uh, device uh, driver is installed very quickly. Here's the files on the CD. It doesn't seem to have an executable, but uh, the one on the bottom that says viewplaycap.rar, I'm going to unrar that. It's an archive file, and let's see what's inside there. So I, I double clicked on the, the viewplaycap.rar, and open a WinRAR. You can use WinZip or some other archive thing. And there appears to be a directory that says view play cap. And it has an auto run inf and a setup exe. I'm going to extract this file to my computer and install it. It says we got a license agreement. I'll accept. Uh, let me just uh, go ahead and say extract. Installed a icon that says view play cap on my desktop. Okay, well, uh, I guess I'm going to have to select device because I've got a USB camera. And I'll select the USB PC camera. Okay, there we go. A nice view of my feet. Up to something close. I'm going to get up to my keyboard. Okay, well, you can see the, how sharp that is. Okay, the enter key. Okay, I guess I'm, let me rotate this a little bit. Okay, the enter key, well... I mean, as far as things really close up, boy, it really uh, is nice and clear. This is the end of the camera, and, and on the side of this dongle, you can see the... Oops, let's get this in shot here, okay. See, okay, I got it turned down to min. Okay, it's off. Turn up a little bit higher, brighter, brighter, brighter. Okay, that's good, because there's a little wheel on the side of the, of the USB uh, plug-in plug. Here's a Windows 10 computer. I'm plugging in the, the USB thing. When I got a, a noise, what's that? Okay, it's installing device. Well, installed correctly is a USB video camera. Okay, I'm running the video cap software, and uh, I guess take a look around, take a look at some of the stuff I got here. You can really see some real details on stuff. If we go back out, I'm backing up. Good idea of uh, over here. I can 
see pretty far distances. Looks a little fuzzy. You get an idea what the here's my garage. You can get an idea of what that looks like, but uh, it's uh, a little fuzzy for far field stuff. But I guess these things really aren't designed for anything far away. These things are designed for stuff that's close up. And uh, close up, it really has a nice focus. Well, hey. For $7.35, I can't complain. Uh, look around AliExpress. Let me look at the supplied uh, software a little bit more. I, I got the, uh, taking a picture of the floor right now. I'll click snapshot and we can take a snapshot. Oh, there it goes. It's open to the photo viewer. And uh, I'm in my, my pictures uh, directory. And here's a, a folder and it's got the picture that I just took. Okay, doing a video capture is a little bit difficult. You have to go to File, Set Capture File, and then, uh, you know, you, you give it a name. Let me see, I'll call this 01. And then you say how much size it, it can be. I don't know, I we can make it big. I think uh, nice and big would be nice. So now, it's uh, thinking. But, uh, you know, why do these, these things always happen when I have the camera? Okay, it's all done. And now, now you could, to capture, we can either say start capture, or there's a, a, an icon here that says capture. So we click capture, and we click go. So now it's taking a picture. So I'm taking a picture of the keyboard. It says IBM. It says good, good IBM, IBM. Now I'm going to click stop capture. Okay, good. So now let me open uh, my uh, uh, videos uh, directory, captures, capture 001. And here's the capture. You can see it. And there I am going back in, into my uh, IBM. And, and that's just a replay of what I just took. So that's how it works.